I saw a rather disturbing TV show last night. It was uh, I was, a, I was on, the, on the BBC and it was Newsnight. It was talking about a lot of different issues, but there was also a big mention of one particular murder which happens. Uh, a young boy was accused essentially of being possessed and do, doing some kind of witchcraft on his friends and family. And he, he was killed with over a hundred injuries to his body uh, probably the most brutal uh, murder you could possibly hear of uh, it was quite a frightening story it turns out there are some ethnic groups within the UK who hold on to their witchcraft beliefs to the point whereby the, you know these are people who are afraid of Harry Potter, okay? These are the, the, the kind of people who are afraid of TV shows like Charmed and the rest of it because they think that those are TV shows telling people how to do some kind of demonic spirit possession stuff. And they believe in the uh, very real danger of these spirit beings and they believe in the very real danger of these possessed people and they are terrified. and. And it is completely and utterly irrational and goes against scientific thought uh, in every possible way. It goes against so much for anybody to be that afraid of a spiritual force to the point whereby they would actually kill. Okay, this, this is quite alarming. And I sat there and I thought to myself, oh my God, what can I do? What can I personally do to try and stop something like that from happening to somebody ever again in the future? But then I stopped for a minute and I took a bit of a, you know, a bit of a breath, a bit of a sigh and <sighs> come back to reality and realized that the uh, what I was doing anyway here on YouTube is or has the potential to be a you know something to prevent such an evil from occurring again you know this this video blog here with the arguments portrayed on it on the subject of the supernatural paranormal or cult witchcraft or whatever you want to call it from this point of view is something which could in the long run save lives because we have to have a certain quantity of doubt it is right for us to have that certain quantity of doubt about the phenomenon that we deal with and I've met lots of people who were perfectly prepared to try and you know say eh, I curse you to death and you will die I can kill you with a thought yes and they don't have the capacity to do anything thing because otherwise I would have died you know uh, because they, they said that they, that they were going to do it and hey presto nothing happened I'm still here and I'm still fighting them you know what I mean you know I always thought that something had to be done about some of the problems of the world and I had to turn my life into something that would somehow do something that could do basically some good to people who's you know going through some suffering it's now a question of just how to make this more popular more get more people aware uh, change hearts and minds there's already been lots of people who've told me on YouTube that you know I've helped them to think past some views they've had I don't know, there must be a way in which I can do this more more effectively, I guess. A, a way will present itself, I believe. But we as a global spiritual community still need to do an awful lot of growing up. 
um, on the subject of apparently supernatural phenomena. We'll do it. I believe we'll do it. <laughs>